DC here, hi guys and gals. I well, hope you're well, it is Sunday afternoon. What is it, it's around, uh, it's 4.30 about. And uh, if you're wondering what the temperature is, as you can see, I'm not dressed that warmly. It's probably around 10, 11 Celsius, something like that. That's actually pretty warm. And I am sitting near the pond on a bench, uh, well, like I say, this side. And behind me, you can probably see there's like one of those miniature golfs. Uh, I don't remember what they're, we call them mini golfs here. I know there's a few other names for them, but you know what I mean. There's a, uh, in some places I, they call them uh, mini putts because you use a putter or whatever. And I don't remember what they're called in other countries. It seems like every region actually seems to have a, a particular name for them. I don't know if you, well, of course now it's not the season, but uh, when you're in the right season, it's always interesting because you walk around the, the little mini golf behind and you will see families. You will see, well, with their children, you'll see grandparents. You'll see divorcees, male and female, with, uh, with their kids. Uh, you know, the usual thing. And very funny, you will also see a lot of teenagers, like groups getting together, and uh, old vloggers itch, by the way. And uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's actually a pretty good hangout. And they've got a bar. So in the evenings, when the, um, well, when the people have stopped, you know, if you're at a golf course, people go for a shandy or a beer or something at the, at the uh, club after. Well, over here, people will go after, or in the evening, they'll go for, for a drink or something. And the, it's a new owner, I think, since maybe a couple of years now. Probably since, uh, since the pandemic. And, um, I guess they're, they might be Portuguese, but I believe that, whatever, anyway, they're, they're very much into, uh, uh, you know, I was going to say Hispanic style music. So if you're here on the, in the week, in the weekdays, or especially on the weekend, uh, it can be a little bit uh, lively. I won't even say noisy. It is a little bit, but I mean, it's more lively. And uh, it, it's kind of like, a, I've noticed that, uh, a lot of the people in the neighborhood just go there for a drink to listen to, to the music. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, complaining or anything. Uh, it, it's kind of changed its, its character over time. Anyway, that's not, that's not too bad. Oh, from us over here. Uh, I don't know if it's common in other countries. I mean, I have not known. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about what I'm. I'll get to what I'm going to talk about actually in a way, but. It's about Mrs. DC, you know, I, I said she wasn't feeling too well. She still isn't. And uh, we had a really bad uh, night, put it that way. And so this morning, uh, I called, uh, called EMD. Now, you might say, called EMD, it's uh, Sunday. Well, we have a service here. It's called Med at Home. It's a, new, it's a new thing. Well, actually, I was told it's been around for a few years. It just wasn't well known. And... Uh, they made a publicity not too long ago, a little article in the newspaper. So it's it's kind of a parallel of uh, partially retired uh, medical doctors, and there's a few cars or whatever, and you call up, you give your uh, well the details, um, your health insurance number, of course, and uh, they come to your house, uh, and that is. Well, pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, I haven't known that type of thing since I was a little boy. Uh, I mean, medical visits at home, at least as far as I know, is a, you know, is a thing of the past. At least in, as far as I knew it. But yeah, so they had that. So we called it. Uh, uh, it wasn't like overnight. It's not an overnight service. On the weekends, it's 7.15 to... Four to six, something like that. If you're out of those hours, I suppose you just have to go to the emergency, to the ER, but then you'll be waiting half the night or something. So yeah, so we called. Uh, they asked all the right questions, if I could say. He said they did a really good 
analysis. And basically, they, they said, well, in the course of the morning, uh, somebody will come and see you. So we called, like I say, at 7.15 and <clears throat> at 9.30, so vlog is itch again, at 9.30, uh, the door rung and uh, it was the MD. And uh, he uh, he basically, he quickly asked a few questions and uh, uh, just did a quick analysis and he, you know, with the stethoscope and... He said to Mrs. DC, uh, it's pneumonia. I mean, you've got something on the, with the right lung or something. So, you know, the usual antibiotics. Today is Sunday, so there's one or two. Uh, at, the, at the train station, we have a, a drugstore, so a pharmacy that's open, uh, well, basically all seven days a week. Um, you might say, well, everything's open seven days a week, not in Switzerland. Um, and uh, so we can go there and there's usually another one in town that kind of like goes from one uh, drugstore to another so yeah anyway so i just went to the to the train station got the the meds that she needed and uh and came back so by you know what was it, around 10 o'clock by no 10 quarter past 10 i was back home already and ha had the meds so she's I mean, it's not been that long, so she's, I can't say, you know, how quickly it's going to take, how, you know, how long it'll take before she starts really feeling better. But, you know, at least something is happening because she's got a medical uh, examination on Tuesday. Uh, but Tuesday seemed a long ways away when you're not, that, not feeling like that. And those of you who've been to ERs, and it's the same here, the ER can just take forever. You're just kind of... The only way you get first, I was going to say, first class treatment in the ER is if you end up there with the uh, with the ambulance. Then you'll have a priority. Otherwise, you just kind of sit and wait and uh, and vegetate with all the other sick people anyway. So I kind of like this, actually. It was like, you know, <clears throat> bring the medical doctor to your home. It's something new. And uh, as far as the Swiss insurance is concerned, the health insurance, <clears throat> it's part of the it's it's taken uh, it's taken into account so that's good it really is so we'll see i mean i'll be getting the bill and then i give out, send off the bill to the uh the health insurance so we'll see so that's a uh, something that's uh i'm happy because uh yeah you know it, it, she was kind of feeling better at times and then worse and yeah so now yeah i'm feeling a bit better that something uh, that we're able, you know, within the period uh, to to do, you know, take care of it. Yeah. So what else? Hmm. Oh, I went yesterday. You no, know, I went for uh, about an hour and a half. Mrs. DC was here. She was taking, trying to take a nap. I went to see the grandkids. While I was there, we made a a FaceTime so that she could see them. Uh, <clears throat> the grandkids were really happy. Uh, to see me and to see Mrs. DC via the FaceTime, so that was nice. Yeah, so aside from that, you know, it's been a, I was going to say a normal Sunday once that, uh, once that we figured that out, Mrs. DC uh, <laughs> gave me permission <coughs> to go to church, so I went to church for or about an hour and uh, came back. She was resting, and uh, yeah, it's been like I say, a relatively quiet time. What I did do, though, we have been watching together, her and I, um, a series, well, it's been on Prime for, uh, well, for probably a year, if not more now, uh, Three Pines, those of you who read Louise Penny's novels. Uh, so they made a, a, a series, of like eight, like it stopped after one season. And so it's like four shows, but with two parts, so eight shows and all i don't like it i've read all the novels and they've kind of mixed things up uh they mix novels together they've taken a lot of liberties uh and be frank uh, i mean we're watching it but i get annoyed i really don't like it they've just changed too many things yeah okay i see we're coming up to 10 minutes so i will be stopping there so i hope you're all well it'll be dc signing off have a great sunday everybody and uh, talk to you soon